Does this sound familiar? So you see your neighbor with a new car bought only a few weeks after you got your new car, but your neighbor has heated seats and all the extras, better wheels, better sound systems, etc. And for the first two weeks of having your car, you felt help, happy and content. But now you see your neighbor's car and the joy you once felt for your car is now diminished. So comparison is the thief of joy. I will explain that a little bit more now. Or you might have booked a four night cruise in the Mediterranean and you're so excited, but your friend starts telling you about the cruise they've booked, which is 14 nights in the Caribbean on a luxury cruise with all the extras. And you start to feel less excited about your vacation or holiday. Now, you might be thinking, how does this relate to crypto? Well, it does. Bear with me. I often get comments that say, oh, I only have X amount of this coin or I only have X amount of that coin. My reply is always the same. 200 of that coin is better than none. I've had it recently in the comments. I've only got so much trias, but it's more trias than, than the others have got. And not only that, trias is so ultimately scarce. Now, I get this is hard, but you have to live for you. It's such an important thing. From a personal point of view, I see YouTube channels with far more subscribers than me, far more views. But if I spent all day comparing myself to them, it would take all the enjoyment out of actually having a channel. It would depress me. Like I'm sure it would depress you when you see these other portfolios and that you're like, wow, or all these other coins that you can't catch every coin. I mean, that's just how it is. Same in crypto. I've seen portfolios that people can only dream of and it can remove your joy from your portfolio and all the hardship that you undertook to build it, all them hours at work, all them hours that you do on your side hustles, all the extra hours that you've done, the things that you may have sold, everything that you try to do to build that crypto portfolio up to be as happy as you can be with it. And, and no matter how much you put in, you'll always have that element of like, I need a bit more, I need a bit more, I need a bit more. And that's okay, because that will be something that you want to do, but not at the cost of joy and, you know, a negative experience within the entire existence, because you're so busy focused on what other people are doing. And sometimes it's best to bring it back to yourself and focus on, on you. Same with anything, comparing your husband or wife to others, your house size, your clothes, your technology, your appearance, your body, etc. You know, it just, it'll only serve one thing and it'll make you feel worse. It's slightly out of context, but Sinead O'Connor said it best. I know it was written by Prince, uh, said that nothing compares to you. And it's true. It's true. No matter what you do in life, there will always be someone who is better looking than you, has more money than you, has a bigger house, has a better car. It's just, it's just the reality of life. It, it really is. But when you stop comparing what you have to what others have, you're going to feel much better. And that's massively relatable to crypto, massively relatable to crypto. It's very, very in line. I've said many times on this channel that controlling your emotions is super important, right? As is mindset. Now, this here, this exists for a reason. This is fear and greed index. That's how they judge the market sentiment. Fear and greed, two dangerous human emotions. Um, fear is obviously terrible. Start panic selling. You're worried. You know, when things start going down, things start going red. You're like, oh, what's happening? Everything's on fire. And then greed because you're like, oh, I've got a, I've got a 15, 20, 30 X. But this can do 32 X or 35 X and you hold and all of a sudden it, it's it's gone. It goes right back down. So these two these two emotions are massively key. If you can manage those, you can manage life. You'll always feel like you don't have enough. I feel it. I feel it as well. Um, I always think, oh, if I can get a bit more in, how do I get a bit more in? Um, but you're always going to feel it. Um, you, the person with the biggest portfolio in the world will feel it too. Um, so you're not alone in that regard. It is a, it's very, very human nature. What you can do, though, to help manage that mindset going forward is feel grateful for what you have right now. And I know that's very difficult, particularly if you're in a very negative situation or a difficult situation. I know it's very hard to go, well, I'm, 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 at least I'm, I'm doing something. You know, you've, you're taking steps. You're taking steps. You can't ask for any more than that. If you, Every day, if you're taking a step forward towards your goal or towards your dream, then you should be proud of yourself. Every single step you take towards your, your target, your goal, your dream, it's super important because some people will never take the first step or some people take one step and then decide to go three steps back. You know, then you're in a worse situation. Set your goals, get them written down as 2024, 2025 will be the time that you achieve what you want. I mean, that's maybe, 
that's maybe 12 months, it's maybe 18 months, it's maybe 22 months, however long that is within that period of time. This is where you get to achieve what you want to achieve. And this is, you know, you've got this power within you to do that. Everyone's goals and dreams are different. So focus on yours and work towards what you want. This is a new year and you can take a stand now. And crypto is your vehicle for that change. And it's super important. This is These are opportunities that you're going to be seeing. Buying on red days helps a lot. As buying big green candles is probably going to retrace at some point. So buying on red days will help you get that lower entry price and not make you feel so bad once you've bought something and then you just see it come back down like or come down to levels that you say you bought in at $3 and then it goes back to $1.80 within 24 hours. You're thinking, oh, if I'd have just waited. And you can't help that. You've done it now. But buy, buy the red rather than the green. It normally helps, right? Not financial advice, obviously. We've seen dips overnight and they'll continue to happen along the way. They will do right into the bull run. Stay pa- uh, stay patient. Don't FOMO and don't panic. And again, it's not financial advice. These are just kind of like a mindset of how I believe will be very useful in, in this upcoming bull run and has been useful in the bear market. Whatever you do today, try to do it with a smile on your face. And I know that's very difficult too, particularly if you're feeling a little bit low or you're a bit concerned, worried, fearful. No matter what others have, make the focus be on you. It's your life and life is short. So you need to make the most of what of what we've got in terms of time as well as in terms of what we can do with our resources once we acquire them. Ultimately, it's your journey and the only person that you're in a race with in life is yourself. Um, it's like standing at the start of a running track expecting to race other people when the reality is you're just racing yourself. Your personal bests are what you should be focusing on because you're not racing anyone else. You're racing you. Remember, when you're feeling like you don't have enough invested or someone has more than you. Comparison is the thief of joy. Now, I hope, I know it's a little bit different. It's a bit a bit different to what we normally do on the channel, but I think that mindset is also quite important because um, it, it does have a major impact on how we build our portfolios and, and, and the decisions we make when it comes to buying and selling. Um, and, and, you know, there's exit strategies. I like to DCA in, but there's more than one, more than one way to get involved in crypto and to get, to get f- funds into the, portfolio whether it's dca and whether you lump sum on red days however you do it you know it'll still be profitable provided you have the right mindset and you know what you're doing you're setting your targets you know what you want to do and for me it's layering out on, on the exit strategy having an exit strategy is key having your targets is key getting them locked in so you know what you want to do is massively important and it will really help um but like i say i know this video is a little bit different um but i think it's important too so uh if you like this video please smash the like button i always appreciate it when you guys do that subscriber wise we have gone past 2900 subscribers so can we get to 3000 subscribers by the end of today if we can that will be phenomenal and i'll really appreciate it because then we're one step closer to that 10k goal uh wherever you're in the world whatever you're doing have an amazing day have an amazing evening thank you for watching take it easy and as always i'll see you tomorrow goodbye